Uh, Lego Star Wars Droid Tales, finally. Uh, I finished this series. It's another five-episode series. Um, this one I liked uh, the most out of all of them. Actually, I don't know. Lego Star Wars All-Stars was actually pretty good. I I actually didn't expect that one to be as good as it was. Uh, I, I kind of just thought that one was going to be the worst of them. I thought Freemaker was going to be the best, and it, and it really wasn't. Unfortunately, it was really bad. Like, I, I didn't care for that one. Um, it wasn't, like, really bad, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just, I didn't care for it. Um, but I think the cool part about Anthony Daniels being the star of the show is, uh, I mean, C-3PO, is that Anthony Daniels comes back to voice him in everything he's ever been in. Um, he did it in the Droid Tales animated series, uh, that came out in the 80s. Yeah, I think it was the 80s. Or it, was, it could have been the 90s. I don't, I'm not exactly sure on that. Because um, I wasn't alive and I've actually never seen that show. So. But it's cool. Um, and he, he voiced him in his episode of Rebels that he's in. And I will get to that in a minute. But um, he get, he voices him. Every single Star Wars movie. In fact, when they tried to, when they retired the original Chewbacca to get another actor to play him from now on, uh, Anthony Daniels was requested to retire, but he he refused. He said, "Nope, I'm 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 gonna be C-3PO till I die." So, and this is a cool series. Um, the basic plot of the series is that after Return of the Jedi, C-3PO just goes on a little adventure to save R2D2. Which was so much fun to watch. And I think um, the ending doesn't really make sense. But it's five episodes. And C-3PO just tells the story of the original movies to various characters he meets on his journey to find R2-D2 and his mysterious captor. Quote unquote captor. Um, and it, you know, you can tell that the creators... Um, are poking fun at Star Wars. They constantly throw... There's constantly Jar Jar exploding or floating through space constantly. And they're making fun of different things about the Star Wars movies. And parroting different things. And just having fun. They're using different quotes. And using them in new funny ways. They're using characters in new funny ways. And, you know, it's funny. Some of it. It's not, like, hilarious laugh out loud. But at least it's chuckle worthy. It, You know, Jar Jar floating through space. Dying or exploding is pretty great for for me you know but um also they do have love for other things too because this does not of course touch on the new movies because these were not finished at the time uh that this series came out it came out i think the year of the force awakened so probably you know race of skywalker and last jedi weren't even out yet and stuff like that um but they use uh, a, the Star Wars Reb Rebels episode that uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 are, are in, which is, and they use that as uh, as one of the stories C-3PO tells, which is just great, and so many other great little things here. It's a great series uh, for just, like, little chucky, chuckle-worthy adventures, but what I don't like is the ending. Um, this literally takes, like, a few minutes, if not a night, after Return of the Jedi, the Emperor and the Death Star just blew up, and the ending is revealed that, spoiler, uh, Lando took R2-D2 to kind of restart this droid factory for some new buyers, and he thought R2-D2 could help him, and, well, these, this guy wants to, there's this, like, Imperial, and he wants to restart the empire and, and destroy the rebels but this literally is like a night if not a couple days after um like return of the jedi so that's a little absurd and kind of ridiculous but then again this show is 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 literally lego star wars so it's kind of already absurd and ridiculous so it's not that bad i, I still think it's kind of dumb but also, they needed, like, an extra episode here to kind of get that conflict going. It would have been a different toned, weird episode, but then again, this this last episode was a already weird toned, different episode. 
Yeah, but I still like the series. I still like, the, um, you know, them poking fun at these different characters. And I think that's what these Lego series could really do for properties like Star Wars. I don't think it was done amazingly here. I think it's just fun to watch, though, and I enjoyed it. And I really like it. And if you have Disney Plus or you uh, come across the DVD at a good price, you should watch the series if you want. It's pretty good uh, for what it is, at least. Uh, it's not... It's a masterpiece, but it's it's a pretty good show overall.